I'm especially concerned yeah. about the problem because I have four grandchildren that are of various ages running around the streets of Santa Cruz, <laughs> and I'd like to think that they can rock, have a good time without worry about being assaulted or knifed because they say the wrong thing or wear the wrong colors. I've got two suggestions I'd like to make. First involves the Immigration Customs Enforcement, ICE. Um, I say I assume you know what I'm talking about here, and it's my understanding that the City Council has decided not to cooperate with the ICE. The mission of ICE is to go into a community, as I understand it, get aliens who are criminals, not law-abiding citizens, but criminals who have been deported and then they come back into the city and get involved with crime again. Now, I can remember a few years ago, um, a fellow was um, deported, and within about two weeks, he was found dead out on, on the um, on the levee down here. So I, I know that this happens, and I assume that they come back and get involved with crime. Um, I know there can be problems with ICE. I don't think, I don't see why with the new administration, we can't work with them, we can find areas that we can cooperate and use this resource, since we need every resource we have to, to combat this problem. Second suggestion is a lot of the problems are in the complex down behind the soccer field by Mary Lagoon. Um, I'm wondering if it's possible to say to the management of that facility, if people are involved with gangs, if they're involved with crime, they're out. I think that would be better for everybody in, in the community, not to put up with people living there in, in subsidized housing and then getting involved with gang activities and intimidating everybody in 